Good morning, Foothills Church family. Uh, we want to thank you for engaging in day three of our 40-day prayer journey. And uh, remember our aim, we want to intend, intentionally uh, be with Jesus, uh, listen to his words, and unite with him in his work. And so this is day three. Our, our theme today is consecrate yourselves. Consecrate yourselves. So. Uh, we are already a week, almost a week, into something called the Summer Olympics. You probably are following along and enjoying the competitions. One thing we know for sure about the Olympics, it is full of amazing athletes who can do amazing things. Amazing athletes who can do amazing things. I love watching the archers, for, uh, one of my favorites, but these archers can, can hit targets that are a long distance away and they can do it with pinpoint accuracy. It's so crazy. Or what about the divers, right? They get up on these high diving boards and they jump off and they can get their bodies to do these twists and these turns and yet somehow end up gracefully and beautifully uh, head first, arms out extended and enter the water. And it's just awesome to see. Uh, what about these weightlifters, these men and these women with incredible strength and they can lift these unbelievable uh, amounts of weight uh, into the air. So just, it's crazy. Man, I remember when I was in school, I like to think I was a sprinter, but I watched the Olympics, these sprinters, right? They can get from A to B in just amazing times. And so it's amazing athletes who can do amazing things, right? So Joshua chapter three, verse five. If we go there, in Joshua 3, we find that the Israelites are about to enter into the land God promised them. And in, in chapter 3, verse 5, Joshua says something to them. He says, consecrate yourselves because the Lord will do amazing things among you. Now, I want to contrast what is written in Joshua versus what we understand about the Olympic athletes. With the Olympic athletes, they are the ones doing amazing things. But in Joshua, it says God, not the Israelites, God is going to do amazing things among them, through them, right? And so church family, man, I love our the fact that our church family is so talented and God has given us so many gifts and you see people in action in our church using their gifts for ministry. But here's the thing. God wants to be the one doing the amazing things through us, activating our gifts to impact the community around us. Us working on our own abilities, working through our own abilities or working with our own abilities is not sufficient. It's not human skill that's gonna win people to the kingdom. It is divine power through human cooperation. And so uh, this is what's going on with the Israelites and so in order for God to do amazing things among them, Joshua says, consecrate yourselves. Now, here's my question. What does the word consecrate mean? What does it mean to consecrate yourself? So here's what it means. It means simply to set yourself apart, to be fully devoted to Jesus. Set yourself apart to be fully devoted to Jesus. Now that can be a scary concept for some people because this idea of being fully devoted, some people will see, well, I've got to make some changes in my life. There's some things that, my, that I may have to sacrifice. And so this begins to cause discomfort in people. But here's what I want us to remember. Being fully committed to Christ means there is a beauty and an opportunity to just be in his presence and have a full-blown intimate relationship with him. And when our eyes are focused on that wonderful privilege, we're not so worried about what changes or sacrifices we may make in life. God always has something better in store. And so that is uh, uh, our message today, our focus today in our prayer time, consecrating ourselves, church family, because through a consecrated church family, individuals, families, and us as a collective. God is going to do amazing things for us and through us. So I want you to take the next 30 seconds, and I'd like for you to just you know, put, lift your hearts in prayer, give your requests to God, give your praises to God for the next 30 seconds. And after, after that, I'd like to lead us, church family, through a prayer focused on 
the idea of consecrating ourselves. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, we as a church come to you today and our prayer is surrender. Our prayer is that we want your Holy Spirit to come inside of us and set us apart and give us the ability to fully surrender to you, to a relationship with you, to your will, to your plans, to your purpose. Lord, I believe with all my heart that you are reminding us as a church that you are preparing to do great things through us. And so we want to be your vessels, Lord. Help us to see in our lives where are we not fully committed to you. And in those places, Lord, where we might not even have the ability to let go, to surrender, to, to just hand that over to you, Lord, we praise your name right now because the Holy Spirit can lead us to that point. Thank you, Lord, in advance for the amazing things you are gonna do through this church family to the community surrounding us. And uh, we ask and we pray this prayer and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, it's wonderful, church family. Thanks for joining in today. And remember, you can go to www.foothillsaz.org and you will see these 40-day prayer journey clips along with, as long as with, uh, along with the ones previously recorded and put there. And I just want you to remember, church family, God is for you, God is with you, and God loves you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you on day four.